that's Rillo if you want to know what she's doing right now. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be reviewing this Critter Trail. So the Critter Trail is the most hated cage in the hamster community and I wanted to show all of you guys why it is a really bad cage and you shouldn't get it and yeah if you have a critter trail right now then throw it away so i'm going to be setting this cage up for you guys look at what it looks like inside take this out. oh my god so let's see what it has it has this wheel that it comes with it has this i don't even know what this is i think it's like a little door uh it comes with these two things i don't know what it is figure that out later it has this i think this is for the wheel it comes with a little food dish i think that's good and another little cover up for the tube. It also comes with this like water bottle, except I don't, what? This weird looking water, I don't even know. <laughs> See, it doesn't have a ball. It doesn't have a ball, so I'm a little bit confused. A, this is the top of the cage. And it comes with the KT Clean and Cozy bedding tray, which is great. I love KG Clean and Cozy, so that's definitely good. And the base. And the two ventilations. I don't really like barred cages because hamsters can chew on them. But yeah. So yeah, let's get started. This is the user manual. bedding tray I don't know if a hamster can chew on this plastic but yeah I don't know but it's good bedding so I'm just gonna flip that up step two connect the wire panels <laughs> so hard Exercise wheel on. Wow, very, very tiny. Put this in. And put that there. Nice and silent though. The wheel is pretty silent. I'm kind of surprised about that because usually cheap wheels are very, very loud. Snap it on. With Critter Trail, you can like put tubes on, so you have to make sure you're covering. Now I am going to put the water bottle in the left upper right corner. It fits perfectly. That's how you do the Critter Trail. And now I'm going to open the door up. dish in the back so now I'm gonna try to get water in here
And now I'm going to turn, I'm gonna close this up. So now let's get our hamster. Do you wanna go in there? And now let's close this up because I don't want her to escape. So now I'm going to have you take a look for a few seconds. You can obviously already see that this cage is very unsuitable for a hamster. Um, yeah, the size isn't good, right? Poor Willow. So the bare minimum for a cage, oh, is 450 square inches. This is 168 square inches of floor space. And you can see she's already stressed out. So I'm not gonna keep her, keep her in here for very much longer, but yeah. So there are several petitions out there that you can sign. I'm gonna leave all the petitions in the description so that you can sign them. Please sign every single one of them because we have to have good cages sold for us, our hamsters. Um, okay, I'm gonna get Willow out because she's very, very stressed. Okay, well, you can come out now. Here. Willow is not enjoying this cage at all, so I took her out because she was not happy. But yeah, this cage is very bad. You could see because of Willow. So Willow's the perfect demonstration of why these cages should be used. I also wanted to point out how the base of the cage is about, I think, three inches. I don't have a tape measure with me, but from the cage, I can see that's about three inches, two to three inches. And obviously that is way too little for a hamster to burrow because they need at least six inches. Um, especially for a Syrian, they definitely can't burrow. The wheel is also way too small, so I don't really recommend you use this wheel. Critter Trail also likes to say how hamsters have unlimited space once you add the little tubes in and connect cages together. When in reality, that doesn't make the cage any bigger because with, when you're adding tubes, it doesn't really go with the floor space because it, they can't really run because at night they like to just run miles and miles without needing to go through tubes. So obviously, as you can see in this picture, it isn't great because the hamster is not going to be able to run around like they have to. Con collect, connect, create. I feel like they try to connect them like for money too, cause like they kind of want more money. <laughs> so like they try to get you to buy more critter trails, but it's not gonna make it bigger because that's, it's like, like tube, they can't run through tube. So it's pretty bad and the little robo there. <laughs> very, very cute. And I also wish they were a little bit more generous with the bedding. They honestly didn't give that much. So their water bottle has a very, 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 very strange angle. If you can see a hamster trying to drink from it, it's going to be very, very awkward because they kind of have to tilt their head to try to drink from it. So with this case, I recommend you do another water bottle, but you have to keep this water bottle on, otherwise your hamster's gonna be able to escape from the hole. Oh, and I also wanted to say that um, what they say on the box, those measurements, it's not real. They're always rounding. So I just wanna say that this is not 168. This is probably 140, 130. I'm not really sure, but I don't have a tape measure with me right now. So this, is my hamster willow's cage so it's quite bare right now because i haven't really unpacked all my items if you didn't know i actually moved um about two days ago so things are a little weird right now and there so this oh 
this is the size comparison compared to the detail. The detail is 950 square inches. That's about 100 something, 150. So the bare minimum for a hamster cage is about from here, this bar to the end of this cage. So that's about the bare minimum. And that is that compared to the bare minimum, the cage.